I'm Nick Wilson. I'm with Wilson Brothers Construction. I'm a project manager for the project here in Laurel. We're working on a bank stabilization job. We're just in the middle of pouring a, a new boat ramp uh, on the Yellowstone River. This project um, contains about, we're putting in about 6,000 yards of, of uh, rip wrap on the job. It's all locally funded right here in, in Laurel. Um, it's about a million dollar project. I think it's funded by FEMA to rebuild after the 2011 flood. It's going to rebuild this, put a new dike, and rebuild the park here in Laurel. This concrete pour is fairly small, just about a 50 yard pour, 50 cubic yards of concrete. With this bolt ramp, there's a couple of things. One, it's a lot wider and it has a thickened footing, so it's much heavier and tied into the, the ground than the existing bolt ramp that was, or the bolt ramp that was here before, before it washed away. And like I mentioned, on the very south end, the very bottom end of the, of the bolt ramp, it's been drilled an epoxy rebar down, so it's all tied in and anchored to the bedrock. So in order for this bolt ramp to move, it'd have to essentially move in the entire chunk of bedrock. It's over down the river, so. That was the biggest challenge in the project, is to, to get a dry site to where we could actually get in and work. So we've, uh, we came up with our own contractor design system and we installed uh, one cubic yard super sacks the way about a, about a ton and a half a piece and we stack those up and, and use divers from Spokane and the, a local crane company to install it. And then we placed the tarp on the front and sealed it up well enough to where we're able to um, use pumps and, and pump it dry.